All right, this next pro tip is one of my favorites. We're gonna talk about defining our own formula-driven formats. Now we're up in the five-star expert level category now. Um, so this is not gonna be easy, but it's a really powerful tool once you learn how to harness it. And what we're gonna do in this demo is use formula rules to format cells using complex logic that our standard formatting and conditional formatting tools simply can't handle. So for example, we're gonna apply formatting to entire rows based on values in other columns. We're gonna apply formats to cells that meet multiple formula-based criteria using things like conditional statements and logical operators. And in this example, what we're gonna do is take a look at an example to-do list, right? We've got a list of tasks, categories, priorities, and due dates. And in order to apply these formula-based formatting rules, what we're gonna do is select the range of cells that we want to apply formatting to, we're going to drill into our conditional formatting menu from the home tab and click new rule and then at the bottom of the list there's an option that says use a formula to determine which cells to format now rule of thumb here a little tip intellisense which is basically that formula helper box that appears when you're writing a formula in the standard formula bar uh, that doesn't exist here in the conditional formatting dialog box so it's kind of like the wild west out there Make sure you know your formula syntax before you start writing your formatting rule. And what this option is going to do is allow us to create complex rules like this one. In this case, we're highlighting entire rows with red fill in cases where A, the due date has passed, and B, the status in column E is zero or incomplete. And that's something that you just can't do with your standard conditional formatting tools. So to summarize some common use cases, again, applying those custom or complex formats beyond the standard options, or highlighting cells that meet a specific set of multiple criteria. So let's go ahead and open up Excel and see if we can write one of our own formula-driven formatting rules. Okay, so if you've been following along, go ahead and open up your Excel Pro Tips workbook. We're gonna jump into our formula-driven formats lecture down here in our formatting tip section, press link, that will take us right to our to-do list. And here we've got a list of about 20 different tasks. They're categorized as work or personal. We've got priority where one is high, three is low. We've got our list of due dates here, and then an icon set for status. A zero is incomplete, and a one is complete. Now, one thing to note is that this is based on a today function, which is volatile. And that means that you're not going to see the exact same dates that I'm showing on my screen, but you should see the same trends and relationships between your today and your due dates in your workbook. Now, the first thing that I want to do is highlight or format this due date column to draw attention to important dates. And let's start with two different rules. The first rule is to highlight any date that has passed, meaning the due date is behind us. So to do that, let's go ahead and select the entire range of cells that we want to apply formatting to. We're gonna go into our home tab, conditional formatting. And as a rule of thumb, you should always check to see, you know, if a standard tool exists to serve your purposes. In fact, there are highlight cell rules that use dates specifically. And there are a number of options that you can use here. So formatting cells that contain a date occurring yesterday or today or tomorrow or the last seven days, but nothing that's quite what we need. Because the first thing that we wanna do is highlight any cell that's before today, or any cell or date that's in the past. And then after that, we're gonna do one more set of formatting rules to highlight dates that are almost due. So dates where the due date is within three days of today. And neither of those options are available here, which tells us that we're gonna to need to use formula-based rules. So let's cancel out. We'll keep this selection active, go back to conditional formatting. Now we're gonna go into new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. So our first one, where the date is earlier than today, the date has passed. Just like any formula, we're gonna start with an equal sign and we need to select one of the cells in our range containing a date. Let's select the first cell here, D3, and say if D3 is less than today, open close parens, then format that in a certain way. So if the due date has passed, let's go ahead and fill these cells with something like a light 
reddish orange tone. You can pick whatever you want here. Press OK. Press OK again. You'll notice that the entire column formatted, right? And that doesn't seem right because today is 1015 and we've got 1016, 1021. Those really shouldn't be highlighted. So to diagnose what's going on, let's jump back into Manage Rules, select that rule and click Edit. And what's happening here is that when we click D3, it automatically applied fixed references. So what this is doing is for every cell in that selection, it's checking this condition. Is D3 earlier than today? And because D3 is September 15th and today is October 15th, this will return true every single time, meaning that this format will be applied to every row, every cell in the selection. So all we need to do to combat that is change the row reference to relative by removing that dollar sign before the three. And that will allow us to check the dates, not just in row three, but also four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way down to row 24. And now pressing OK and applying that updated rule, now we see what we want. Any date before 1015 is now highlighted. Any date on 1015 or after is not highlighted. So that's working exactly as we'd expect. Now let's work on that next rule. So now we want to highlight dates that are almost due. So due within the next three days. So again, we want to highlight that same range of cells, go back into conditional formatting, add another new rule using a formula. This is going to be similar, but a little bit different. So we're going to say if the date in this column, and remember, we've got to remove that fixed row reference minus today. So the difference between that date and the current date, that difference is less than or equal to three days. Then we know the due date is coming up. It's approaching. So let's format that with something like, you know, a yellow fill. It's like a warning sign, right? So press OK. And when we press OK, what's going to happen is that that new rule is going to take precedent and essentially overwrite uh, the red fill that we had created in our first rule. All we need to do is manage our rules again and simply change the order so that our red rule dates in the past again take priority. So press apply and OK. And there you go. So this looks exactly like we'd expect. These are the three tasks that are coming up. We've got to process those expense reports, contact IT, and man, we've got to restock that goldfish food, right? So those are two examples of how to use relatively simple uh, date rules and apply them to one column. In this case, our due dates in column D. Now let's do one more example and get a little bit fancier. Let's flag entire rows where three conditions are true. First, where the deadline has passed. We know how to do that already. Second, where the status is zero, meaning that task did not get done. And three, where the priority is one. So we're looking for high priority tasks where the due date has passed and they were not completed. Now to do that, we need to select the entire range of cells where we want the formatting to be applied. And because we want formatting to be applied across an entire row, we're going to grab this entire range from A3 through D24. We're going to add a new formula based rule. And because we want to test for three different criteria all being met, we're going to use an AND statement. So we're going to start with that AND, open up a parenthesis, and then write our three conditions. So condition number one, we've seen before, the due date with a relative row needs to be less than today. It's passed. That's condition one. Condition two is that the status is incomplete. So cell E3 with a relative row reference equals zero. And our third condition is that the priority cell C3 with a relative row reference should equal one. So those are our three conditions here. Let's close the parenthesis, set a preview, determine the format. And this time, instead of a fill, let's go ahead and just do a bold font. And let's make the font color bright, bright red and press OK. So and D3 is before today, E3 equals zero and C3 equals one. Press OK and take a look. So two of the rows in our to do list have been highlighted and both of these rows were not complete. The due date has passed and they are priority one. 
So we should have coordinated those interviews back on September 26th, which we did not do. And uh-oh, we did not send invites for Billy's birthday. They were supposed to send them out on October 11th. So if only we had created these formula-driven conditional formatting rules in our Excel to-do list earlier, we might have caught this and Billy would have had the birthday that he deserved. Obviously, these are just a couple examples of how you can use formula-based formatting rules to do really interesting things like this in Excel. Hopefully that gets your gears turning and inspires you to create some interesting conditional formatting rules of your own.